Hello guys, Uldin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you all are having a terrific day. I've got a few more episodes that I need to record to complete a backlog for a trip that I'm going on this weekend. So I hope you don't think I'm ignoring your comments here. There's probably some stuff that I missed. Uh, I did make a few corrections. Uh, unfortunately, I still have not figured out how to make this shop. I uh, added a few different decorations, I put different things, and I did see that there's a room guide on the internet because this this is actually a Japanese game that's been ported um, to the US, but uh, apparently it doesn't have anything about a shop. Uh, but I did try a few different um, designs here and I put the shop sign in and nothing. So right now it's just a treasure room because it actually gives me more points than just a regular old empty room. And everything else is the same. I did expand for the next room or rooms coming up. I don't know how much we'll need uh, or how much space we'll need, but I went ahead and just laid out some tile here and I'm gonna put some materials up. Today we're gonna head out and do some adventuring and finish up some quests here. Um, I also put away, uh, you'll be able to see, oh, we got some plumberry tree seeds that I need to plant really quickly too. Um, I, I went harvesting for a little bit more materials, so we shouldn't have an issue with that. Uh, I do need to make as many as these as I can because I have a feeling we'll be doing some fighting. I made some extra hammers and I did make this new fancy suit of armor. It doesn't look as good as the Wayfarer's clothes but it has better defense so um, we'll take that. Anyway, let's see here. I do need to make some healing creams. We're gonna make as many as we can. Seven. That looks good. Alright, and let's take care of all the quests that we currently have. People wanting to talk to us and stuff. Alright, hello there, Zuljan. Having fun with your little building projects, are you? I'll tell you right now, if you're thinking of building this city even bigger or making weapons to fight the monsters, I'm dead against it. I'm not saying it's not fun to build things, and if I did say that, I would not be lying. <laughs> it's just that the workshop you've built for us is so dark and dreary, it's really draining my will to build. If it was just a little bit more inviting, you don't, I don't doubt I wouldn't feel quite so, well, not negative. But, to sum up, Zuljan, I think the workshop needs a leather sack and a sconce on the wall. Um, if we would do the shop sign hung there too, it would make that a perfect place to work. Aha! Uh -huh. So we do have a sconce, but we don't have a leather sack. So, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna change the workshop area here. Um, maybe we do have a leather sack in here. We don't, and we do have a sconce actually as well. Well, it's not one of the sconces that I have on the wall here, so I might need to change that up. Let's uh, let's let's do that right really quickly. Let's pick. Uh, it's a little bit small, but that's fine too. Um, we have to make it in this bench right here. All right, no, not a bonfire, a sconce. Okay, we've got the sconce, and let me go ahead and grab the shop sign too. Well. There's our answer for the shop sign. We won't need this. Um, we won't need that room over there. We'll be able to make it into something else, which I have no doubt in my mind we'll have to sooner or later. So let's go ahead. We have the bag already. Um, we can put the sconce in here. There's already so many different forms of light. I don't exactly know where to put it. I'll tell you what. Let me just put it right here above. And now I'll put the sign up as well. Okay, Stonemason Studio. Very nice. Okay, so we've got, uh, it takes a leather sack, a shop sign, a fancy light source, a chest, and a mason's workstation to make that. Very good. And we got 400 points. It makes equipment more durable and they can build furniture. Alright. That's beautiful. Okay, so before we do the fight, is there any other quests that we need? No. Let's go ahead and talk to him and I guess he's going to reward us somehow. Um, probably. Come on outside so we can speak. Speak to me! Ah, see you finished your improvements to the workshop. It doesn't look half bad. Yes, I think this is much more conductive to my style of work. I dare say the town might benefit if you put a forge in the workshop too. Look Zuljan, I can't deny that all these tools are useful, nor can I deny that living with your friends isn't entirely intolerable, but there are more important things at stake. I realize I'm repeating myself, but I insist that you exercise caution. If your building works draw the attentions of monsters, they will destroy you. However much Rolo, however much Rolo may have tried to tempt you, you must not expand this town any further. Should your hubris get to better of you, it will summon forth uh, beyond reckoning. 
All right. Well, you're a Debbie Downer, aren't you? I want to build a town bigger. Um, also, it says that we should put a forge in here, but honestly, what I think I'm going to do is add the leather sack. This workshop might be a little bit different now that we have the stonemasons deal over there. Let's go ahead and grab the pot. We'll grab these. I know it turns into a stonemasons workshop. I'm going to grab the sign and I'm going to grab the sconce. And now I'm going to put all of that in this room and it should kind of give us the same deal because we have all of the materials that we need in here. So let's put a sconce. Okay. Also, I had to put a chest in here for it to act like uh, the workshop that it was supposed to be because before these treasure chests don't actually count. They count towards treasure chest rooms, uh, but these chests actually count as the functional rooms. So I think this is all we need here. And the bag. That's the only thing I need left. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this treasure chest out and put the bag here instead. Alright, Blacksmith Studio. Beautiful. Okay. Um, what did it say about makes equipment more durable, residents will put furniture in chests. Very nice. Now I have another free room because that room on the other side I don't really need. So that's pretty cool. Um, Alright, let's talk to old boy and get this over with. Okay, wait. I'm not, I don't want to talk to LaRouche. I want to talk to... I'm gonna have to get him solo. We all quit walking together? I got him. Bama Navi Nizul did not have terrible news. It seems the monsters plan to attack us again and in greater force than ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side and stronger weapons than before, but still. We must not let our guard down. Be sure all the weapons and... Um... Unguents? <laughs> are close at hand uh, and be ready to face the enemy down. So Zuljin, are you prepared? Yes, we are. Alright, here we go. Big fight. Okay, it looks as though the monsters are coming from the way that they always come. And they're actually taking damage on the stockade. Which is <laughs> funny. <laughs> This is this is great, man. We don't even need to fight him. This is easy sauce now with the stockade. I got gotcha. you. All right. It looks like oh, there's some inside. Did he finish him off? It looks like that's it. Help! Oh, they're still on the other side. Okay, I'll tell you what here. Let's take a shortcut. <laughs> Ta-da! Brownies? All right. It's no problem, we got this, y'all. Okay, the leader of the monsters appear. Oh my gosh, it's a knight. I remember fighting this guy in Dragon Quest in Dragon Warrior 1. He was so hard when I got to him the first time. He's not taking any damage here. Ouch. Alright, he's still nothing. This copper sword? <laughs> Baller, man. Okay, the monsters are defeated. A red teleportal. Oh snap. Wow, okay, we're gonna get to go to a new area then. Alright, we did it. Wow, Zuljin, you got that new teleportal and now we can go to a new island. You know, we've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I'm itching to try some of the new recipes I've dreamed of. For example, I thought I could stuff some chimera's beaks with plum berries with grasshoppers and then ball them up into a mixture of earth and blue goo. But when I told Rolla my idea, he said, He'd die if he had to eat something like that. So Zuljin, I was wondering if you could show me one of those new recipes you'd invented. Something that tastes really tasty but doesn't make you die. <laughs> what in the world? That's the silliest thing. I know you're really busy doing things for Rolo and everyone else, so I don't mind if you can't help me straight away. 
Okay. Um, alright, let's talk to Rolo again. Bought my elegant eyelashes, Sultan. Oh boy. You found another teleportal. A fortuitous find indeed. It's just taking to your new friend Sheridan, you see. He told me where we might find the legendary blacksmith I mentioned earlier, or rather that blacksmith's descendant. And it seems the island where this man was last seen is on the other side of that very teleportal. If you could persuade that smith to join our town, there's no end to our mighty arms and armors we could build. Now, be sure that the teleportal is firmly placed, Zul'jin, and go to track down that man. Okay, so we do have a new quest. Oh! We got a new person here, too. Phew, I finally made it. I found the source of the light. Look at all these beautiful buildings. I've heard the rumors, but never imagined that it'd be anything like this. Hold on, you didn't build this whole town yourself, did you? Well, yes, I did. But you, that would mean you must be him, the builder. Great goddess above. That is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting the real live builder in real live flesh. So you're rebuilding the ruins of Cantlin, are you? The city was once watched over by a giant golem. My name's Sheridan, by the way. I was traveling the world a long, long time ago, and I found my way to this place. I know I don't have much to offer, but I would gladly tell you of the lands that I've seen on my way here. I can't say how much you could use... Wait. Much use you can make of information like that, but I'm happy to tell you all I know. If it's alright with you, I'll settle in straight away. Alright, Sheldon moves into the base. Very cool. Okay, I guess he's going to get his outfit on. It seems like he's just cheering for the armoire right now. Oh, there he is. Pow! He's a citizen now. Check him out. He cleans up nicely, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know what he'll do, but I'll imagine he'll start making stuff out. Okay. Make me a meal out of wheat is what um, is what old girl's telling me. Do I have to make that? Oh, I gotta make it on the cooking fire, actually. Let's see. Let's make a salad plate. I don't know where you make the bread at. Okay, salad plate. We already made one of those. Where do you make the bread? Or maybe you just craft it. I don't remember. We had gathered a lot of wheat. There's ghosts. Okay. Straw, wood, mason's cook fire. Alright. Let me check out this, um, this wheat here and see what it says. Where is the wheat? There we go. Um, Golden grass grains that form a fundamental foodstuff. I don't know how we're going to do it. It doesn't seem that the cook fire gives me a recipe to make with it. Uh, fried eggs, shroom on a stick. We haven't made the fried eggs yet, so let's go ahead and make that just in case. Uh, boiled butter beans, we've already made some of that. Magic dye, we don't have any, so I guess we could just build some. We had some uh, a little while ago, but... Okay, I don't see anything else that we can make in here. Hmm. I'm really not sure what it would take. At any rate, let's do the sleeping thing. We'll put some materials away, and we'll head on out now that I have my... Uh... Wait, a light in the darkness. Images begin to form in Zul'jin's mind. What's going on here? Would that I might pass all the remaining days of my life alone with my beloved, yet the knowledge that monsters might rob us is the simple joy at any moment weigheth heavy upon my mind. But all shall be well, and thou defeatest the dragon lord. Godspeed, you brave adventurer. To be alone with my beloved is to forget all that threaten this world. But alas, I cannot put our plight entirely above my thoughts. For my lover informs me that we, our, what, were our world to be destroyed, our love too must surely perish. And yet, I know in my heart that we shall soon be redeemed from this peril, for thou art the scion of Erdrich, hero of legend. When dark doth spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrich's hand. That was my dear departed grandsire's 
favorite phrase. Almighty Goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings hold true. May thy light shine upon the brave. <laughs> brave somebody's quest. I guess it means Zul'jin's quest. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago, but whether it was his own memory or somebody else, Zul'jin can't remember. Weird, man. Every time I go to sleep after one of these uh, battles, I get all sorts of crazy dreams and stuff. Okay, I'm glad we can't get hit by all that stuff. Okay, we can actually install the red teleportal. Now, there are some places that I would like to check out in the other one. Um, so I think that's what we're gonna do before we, um, before we go to the next area, you guys. Portal to another I uh, island opens up. Alright, so, yeah, everybody's gonna be happy about that. Let's put some of this stuff up while everybody's oohing and on. Okay, let's take... We've already got some food with us, the mushrooms. We have plenty of room. Plumberry seedlings. I'm gonna plant those later. Okay, I think we could just tidy up here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put this up too. Alright. Uh, let's go back to this area. And there was a few places that I've been waiting to uh, to go explore until I was on camera with you guys that I saw on my way to the castle actually. So let's just act like we're gonna be heading out to the castle and I'll show you guys what I found. I don't think there's any materials that I need so I might just bash a couple of rocks because stone seems to be one of those things that I'm gonna need relatively often for just about everything like floors and building materials and stuff so as I pass by them I'll just smash them instead of spending all kind of time grinding for them when I need okay also it doesn't seem like there's anything down there I'm just trying to keep my eye out on the outskirts of stuff here okay there is a fire over there see that so we're gonna go check that out I think I already went there at one time too but I do, yeah, I definitely went there. I think that's where that was one of my deals. I don't think this takes a whole lot of durability away, so I am going to get these white flowers when I see them too. Okay. So yeah, I know I went here for something, but I didn't explore it fully, and I do want to take a look at any of the surrounding areas that I may have missed. There we go. Got us some flowers. Uh huh. There is some stuff over there. Although I don't think I can cross over to it. Maybe I could do a land bridge? I don't know if you can go that far. Okay, this is, yeah, this is where old boy taught me, um. Taught me how to get, uh. Yeah, I'm absolutely starving. Let me go ahead and eat this egg. There we go. And we can also eat... Oh, that's to place. How weird is that? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so... Can I cross over there? Is the question. Let me go ahead and kill this thing. Okay. So... Uh, oh, we're gonna need some dirt first. Let's do that. Let's clear out some dirt. I could do this with a club just as easy. Um, actually... That doesn't break a whole lot of stuff. I wonder if the hammer is any better um, at this. Wow! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Dude! Beautiful! What a quick way to uh, to get materials, man. Nice. Okay, I should have enough to cross now. Let me do one more. Okay, we have almost 80 blocks. That should be enough here. Alright, let's see. I've never tried to build a bridge this long before. So we're going to see how it goes. And if you fall in the water... Oh, repelled by a strange force. Uh-huh. Wow, well... Uh, I can't go that way. 
<laughs> Apparently they don't want you to do that. That's not really a secret. That's probably an evolution in the game's story. Oh well. That would have been cool. Um, can we... I can actually just get in this water here. It's not a big deal. The one shallow water we can always do that on. It's not bad. Okay. There were some other areas though that I still want to check out. And I know my hammer durability is getting a little low here, but um, it's no problem because I have an extra hammer on me. There's a vein of silver that I would love to get. Even though I still have not found a use for it, and I got plenty, I still hate to pass it up because, well, it's silver. Uh-huh. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. All right. I needed some building blocks anyway, so I'm actually glad I mined the dirt just a second ago. Okay. All right, so now, if I head down toward the castle where I had looked at um, earlier, when I was um, clearing out the materials and stuff, there was indeed a place before I got to the mountains on the left. Uh-huh. There's a treasure chest down here. Okay. Let's go down here and check it out. There's a skeleton waiting for me down there too. And a, another silver vein, which is nice. Okay. I uh, might as well just use my sword on it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. All right. What a what a state! Hello, human. I've heard about you. You're the Zuljan boy, boy, boy. Everyone's been talking about. I'm trying to fix, fix, fix up this graveyard for the poor little humans who lost their lives in Cantlin. But the place is such a mess, I don't even know how to build new gravestones to replace the ones that have fallen apart. If you're as good as they say you are, Zuljan, maybe you could work it out how to do it. There's a brownie who lives up near Damdara Desert who's built a nice little graveyard of his own. If anyone knows how to build, build, build a gravestone, he will. If you could ask him how to make them and build me a couple to replace the ones that have fallen down, I'll take care of the rest. And the Damdara Desert is a long way away, and the building the gravestones won't be easy either. But if you could help me out, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, that sounds like a pretty good deal, and it, I guess he's going to let me open up that chest, uh, which I can't do right now. So that was one of the things that I had found. Uh, let's see, there was some other stuff as well. If we go... Alright, so this is where the mountain is, towards the castle, and before I got there, and this is where the old girl lives, or whatever, that gave us the mallet recipe, there is some stuff down here to look at. Um, I believe it was further towards that way, although I can't be certain anymore. Let's see. There's also that area right there that I don't know if I've explored. So I'll tell you what, let's just go down here for now. That looks like it was closer to the beginning, so I can actually quicken up my travels just by using my angel wing. Let's equip our, um, our torch as well and see. I really wish it would be daytime to do this, but... That's just the brakes. Okay. What is this? This is a place that I could sleep? Only... Oh, I could normally sleep here? Hold on. Maybe I could have slept here, actually. The sword doesn't do too much damage to those ghosts. Um, let me see here. Items. Can I just put this away? Let's put this away. Let's put this away. Let's grab. Don't we have some straw doors? 
we do have a straw door. Okay. Um, straw door, bonfire, that should actually be good. I think that's all I need. Let's put a fire in here. Oh, also, let's do this. No. Dang it, ghost! Uh oh. Better. <laughs> oh, this is a hoarder ghost. That's why he's taking up more damage than I'm normally taking. Okay. I still should be able to... Okay. We good now. Alright. Can I please just make a room here now? Okay. Bonfire. Okay. I did make a room. That's awesome. And... I'm gonna make a bed here too. Can I sleep? Nope, I'm under attack. <laughs> it's vicious out here, man. I'm still under attack? Aha! I slept. Just in time. Hot dog! Okay. Alright. I got a little home away from home now. Beautiful. Okay, there... Let me see if there was anything else over here that I wanted to see. Let's see. Maybe... Around this side? Have to be careful, because that's deep water. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops. No, I'm repelled by a strange force. Oh, be, uh, they just don't want you bridging over water in general, I'm guessing. Uh, that's kind of strange. Alright, what is this? This is what I had saw. I love gardening! <laughs> what in the world is this? Hello, human! What do you think of my garden? It's actually quite lovely. I've heard about it from Clobberina. You're the builder, right? The one with the power to build, build, build new things? I bet I could throw, you could throw together something like this before I could blink, blink, blink. Of course, if you want to be a gardener, you're going to need a shovel first. You could use a shovel to dig up flowers and plants without breaking them apart. If you just plonk, plonk, plonk them on the ground, stick a fence around them, and bam, you're done. Of course, now this helps, now this helps you if you don't, none of this helps you if you don't know how to make a shovel. Uh, okay. Who's gonna show me how to make a shovel? Hello, human. Honestly, would you look, look, look at that beautiful garden he's got there? It ticks me off. It really does. Me and him are competing in the head gardener of the Hammerton Heights. But at this rate, I don't stand a chance. Clobberina set us to challenge to put, put, put together a garden, and he's already finished. Could you help me out, human? I tried bashing them and whacking them and just giving them a good clobber, but the plants won't stay in one place. He must have some secret way of pick, pick, picking them up and putting them down without them falling apart. If you can figure out his secret, then help me to make a garden look, look, look just like his. Alright, so I do need to make a shovel, and I don't have that information yet. Will you talk? No, he's not going to talk about a shovel at all. He's not going to tell me how to make it. And I suppose I can keep venturing out this way and see if there's anything new. I think we're going to have to look around a little bit more to find a shovel. This is further than I've ever been in this area before. That's not to say that there's nothing back here. Or there's anything back here, I mean. Alright, I'll tell you what. I have to get up. I'm gonna do anything here. Okay, got more wheat. 
I don't think we need more wheat for anything. And that's where the castle was. This is just like a sharp way down here. And remember, I can always take the wing back. And that's what I'm going to default to if I need. I love that they left these vines for me just so I could get up here easily. Alright, how far exactly can we go up here? It does look like it can go much further past the castle. And I know I could have whacked their gardens up too, but I'd rather get the shovel before because it looks like there was a flower. Um, well, some different types of flowers that I didn't have before. Okay. That's some more wheat right there. And... Uh, there's the castle, so I'm officially behind it now. I'm not sure what lies beyond this point. This is the furthest back I've ever been. Oh, what in the world is that? <gasps> that might be the green dragon everybody was talking about in the demo. And I think we're out of time this episode, you guys. I hate to leave y'all with a cliffhanger, but I'm going to have to because I think this is going to take a little while. Next time we come back, we'll take on the green dragon and we'll look at going into the red portal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.